Alrighty, we well, progressed along pretty well here. You can see I got the little tub in there. I had to take the top off to get the tub in. This leg has been such a bloody nightmare. It's been unbelievable. Um, it, <laughs> it is a lot to do with the fact I have uh, button head screws there, more, you know, almost like your wafer style screw. Uh, very similar to wafers actually, they're just a little bit flatter on the top. Um, and uh, I don't know if you can quite pick it up, but you can see it isn't exactly in line with the original hinge point. See, the trouble is the hinge is made for bugle head screws, and I'm using flat ones. And uh, yeah, it doesn't sort of quite like it. So I realized that with this uh, steel foot there, I was going to be punching a hole in the lino, so I had to put a bit of this here. Now, of course, that thickened it, no big deal. You know, I just got on the uh, bench grinder and, and ground a, you know, well, not even a quarter inch off the end. Uh, and uh, all seemed to be fine, except uh, then it, when I screwed it back on, because I just took out these screws and you get, this is hammered in fairly hard into there. So then I just, you know, took it in and, and ground the end off and then I'll put it all back together and instead of bloody sitting in the middle, because I had it sitting like that all night to press the silicon down because that piece is silicon on there. Uh, that's an old bit of chopping board by the way in case you didn't realise. When I screwed it back in the bloody thing's sitting over here and I couldn't get it to play ball. And uh, then I realised it's actually to do with the fact that the, you know, the hinge is not 100% in position. So what if I was to get this and drill new holes? That sounds good, but they're going to be about one sixteenth of an inch off, and the new screws will just break through into the original holes and you bug it again. I do have hinges that are longer that would probably mount up here, but then it would be out here, and I'd have to do a whole new piece of wood just to do that. In the meantime, I've got this screw here, which sort of keeps this far enough across that it fits into this, and it also goes into the hole that's drilled for it there. Now, you've always got to realise that this is not going to fold as a perfect 90 degrees. So, when you drill holes lower down, which that's full of acrylic gap sealer at the moment, I've sort of re-strengthened this with this on the back, um, it doesn't sort of quite line up. Um, so, word of advice, use a bit of uh, plastic to scrape it flat, not... Uh, do it in the dark with a piece of paper and then leave big dips in there, but I'll just refill that up, doesn't matter anyway. Um, yeah, having said that, bit of foam weather seal there, holds the tank in bloody perfectly. Uh, but having said this, like, <laughs> if it comes to the point of doing more hinges, I'm just going to redesign this whole thing, and I've got an idea. Imagine a one inch bit of plywood that looks like a chopping board and you have a, a slot handle in it back here somewhere and you slide it forwards and it just slides in and you have a piece of aluminium channel and it just slides in and sits. And uh, I tell you what, I would be doing all three legs like this if I ever completely rebuilt this. Uh, which, in, who knows. Uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe in another five years or something. Um, but yeah, I would do all all of them like that. Just basically great big bits of one inch plywood that are big on one end and have a little slot hole handle on the other end. And uh, hopefully yeah, little bits of channel all underneath and hopefully that would fix the issue. Anyway, I've been working on the stuff for the stove and whatnot on this side here. And just take a note of the way have a little trim here and we have this and you'll see how it all works out my original plan was to stick the stove here and then there was a bit of a screw up so it's going to be going over there next to the window which is probably a better idea because I can wind the window down and cook with the window down versus not being able to put the window down and have all this condensation and bullshit and then have to play with an exhaust fan that's hanging off of the Blah blah. It, it made it a lot more complicated the way I wanted to do it and the way it looks like it's turned out is a lot more logical. Uh, so I'll show you that. So this is the item here. Um, 
These are notches in the bottom for the uh, trim on the floor. And your armrest is going to be here. So it sort of overhangs the armrest. Now the original idea was to have this as uh, where the stove was going to go and have the bench sort of hanging off this side back towards the driver uh, or the passenger and no actually the driver in this case because right hand drive vehicle um, and you know your window that you can open was going to be on this side here um, and I was going to have the bench there and then try and have an extraction fan for the stove to be here what some dumbass didn't realize was after having built a bed where all the angle is all like this, I made this all perfectly square and it looks bloody beautiful. You know, and uh, yeah, you know, she's all 100% gun barrel square, uh, but that <laughs> means that all my pots are going to be sitting on a bloody two and a half inch angle and that's not really how you want to cook anything, is it now? So anyway, the idea progressed that they're just going to basically have to swap places between the uh, stove and the um, and the bench space. But I've got a little bit smarter, and I will show you something. Just give me a second to turn things around. And uh, what I've done... These are little plugs here that everybody... Oh, everybody uses a wood screw inside one of these plugs into brick. And they're supposed to work. And let me tell you, they bloody never well do unless you've got close to zero weight mounted on there. And, uh, well, anyway, the freezer is going to go in the front here. So I couldn't really have much tall stuff. And I was worried about, the, you know, not having enough. It was just this little crappy strip in the front. Uh, it's going to flex too much. Uh, well, it's it's not too much of a distance. Nah, so what we've done was we put a nylon strap on the bottom. And that holds it, at least from stretching out any further. Uh, the reality is that this here is actually mounted on uh, those little bits. And I've got one of those on each side. Now, hold on for a second again. I'm going to show you why I have these. And uh, it'll all make sense in a minute. So, that cement sheet and the stove sits on this cement sheet on plywood. Watch this. Guess what? Guess what is under this cement sheet? Ground back screws that are countersunk into the plywood that line up. Oh, this is shaking. And go in. And, uh, and I'll grab this side. And there we go. Bingo. So there you go. I've got to play around with a few bits of aluminium channel on the edge here. Screwed into the edge of this. So we've got one piece here upside down the other one sort of here or somewhere maybe down a little bit lower that way up and then bang and there's going to be one or two little holes countersunk in here probably two holes for feet so it'd be like a little just a pipe seat uh pipe feet probably two one here one here <clears throat> so this will lift off and click on to the bits of channel there and then when you're all done, wipe your bench clean, lift it from here, back onto here, with your stove in the middle, there's going to be some, so I don't really want to put it on this, but I might be able to work out some little eyelet here, and have a strap that goes over the back onto here, and hold your stove from sliding off, while well, this piece is stuck on there. And your fridge, actually, your freezer, the comes about here and you can actually open the front and because it actually it doesn't sit here it's actually sat right out here you can open the front probably about that much you may be about uh, four or five inches and you can actually get your hand inside it even with this thing over the top of it and uh, yeah so that's worked out 
bloody fantastically except for the whole part where <laughs> my bench is going to be on the lean and I've got to make me feet the appropriate height to get this level and then this will be on the side that the uh, window electric window is so I'll be able to drop it down a bit as I'm cooking and probably have a fan on the bed or on the bed frame to blow out of the vehicle but there we go that's uh, what I've been getting up to and uh, yeah